Back here, WHIP, Philly's number one college radio station. Now joining us is Eagles running back number 28, Dion Lewis, former Pittsburgh Panthers running back as well. Dion, Zach Gelp here, Temple Sports Hour. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, and uh, you you work in the Philadelphia area, being a member of the Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, from the collegiate ranks, what have you heard about this Temple Owls football team moving into the Big East as Temple gets ready to face off against your alma mater coming up this Saturday? Um, I love it. You know, they're, they're having a pretty good year, you know, they're winning some games, so with them moving into the Big East, it's definitely going to be big for them. The Owls, they have a very good running back from Montel Harris. He comes over from B.C. where he's the all-time leading rusher in the ACC after just three years. When you watch Montel Harris, this is a guy that you could see playing on Sundays one day in the National Football League? Definitely. He's a great player. You know, um, he has all the attributes to be an NFL running back, so you know, he's had, he had a great career, and hopefully he turns out this year strong. Pittsburgh, they found a way to have two good running backs themselves and uh, Graham and Shell. Break down those two running backs and what they've been able to do so far through the course of this year when you watch the uh, Pittsburgh team. Uh, the, the two great backs, you know, um, Shell, Russell Shell is more of a, more of a power, power back, you know, more of a straight downhill runner, where Ray is a little bit more shifty and more quicker on the outside. So, you know, this is a great time to have. Have you been able to talk to those two running backs? Do you ever go back to Pittsburgh, watch a game from the sidelines, and talk to those running backs? And if so, what what, what do you say to those kind of guys? You know, I'm real close to Ray, so you know, I, I talk to him you know, every week, you know, just, just seeing how he's doing, you know, keep telling him, keep working hard. So I don't really talk to Russell as much, though. So. Paul Chris, the head coach, first year coming into Pittsburgh, do you believe that he's moving this team in the right direction? Yeah, definitely. You know, especially after the coach I had last year who came for one year and left, you know, they kind of need somebody that's in there for the long haul, you know, and I feel like he's there. He's there for that, and, you know, a lot of players like and, and the Eagles in their backfield, they have a plethora of uh, Pittsburgh talent. Uh, your your star running back, Shady McCoy, he went to Pittsburgh as well. Are you and LaShawn, are you guys going to watch the game together come Saturday? Yeah, we'll probably watch that, watch that game. You know, it's going to be a great game, you know. Hope we fit, pull out that victory against Temple Star. It's going to be a great, great game to watch. And the Eagles will be back in action this week as uh, they will face the Atlanta Falcons, the undefeated Atlanta Falcons, Zach Gelp here, WHIP, Philly's number one college radio station, talking to Eagles running back number 28, Dion Lewis. And Dion, what did your team work with uh, in this bye week that you had just uh, coming up? Because th- this offense, they've had a lot of turnovers this year. I'm just getting back to the basics, you know, starting for square one, you know, just, just taking a look at ourselves and evaluating everything, you know. So uh, coming up this bye week, we come out fresh and ready to go, you know, work on the little things and to eliminate the turnovers. You probably learned a lot from LaShawn McCoy being the backup running back from this team. Anything specific? What's LaShawn's main message when he talks to you? You know, just being patient, you know, just being patient, taking your time, you know, he does a great job with that in the game, just, uh, just being patient and taking those big forms. So, you know, just I learn, I learn a lot from him every day. The run game such a big part of this team because when you've won games this year, LaShawn McCoy has had at least 20 carries. When you lose games, his carries number are in the teens. Does this offense, do they need to run the ball a little bit more under Andy Reid's style? Um, you know, we're more of a, we're more of a passing team. You know, we have such great athletes, you know, such uh, speed on time. But, you know, we, do, we don't run the ball as much as other teams. But, you know, I feel like running games is a big part of our game. You know, we have the best running back in the game. So, you know, obviously he needs to touch him. But, you know, um, the coaches are good. I don't know. There's on tables there, and the teams are rolling up the box. We're going to pass the ball more, and they're all looking for the pass. We're going to run the ball. So, you know, our coach is going to do a great job with that. So, I'm not really worried about that. When you line up this Saturday, give me the preview of this Atlanta's defense. What are their strong points? What are their weaknesses? I think they're, you know, they're great at creating turnovers, and I think they're in top five in uh, creating turnovers and takeaways. So, we just got to be careful with the ball. And, you know, if, if we don't turn the ball over, we're one of the best teams in the league. So, you know, we just got to focus on keeping the ball and, and looking for our defense to get some turnovers for us. You're at home. You're playing the Atlanta Falcons this week as we're talking to Deion Lewis. If you're able to knock off an undefeated team, what message does it send to the league about the Philadelphia Eagles, in your opinion? Yeah, you know, we're, we're one of the best in the league. Like I said before, you know, you knock the turnovers down and, 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 and we're winning games, you know. So that's the biggest thing with us, just uh, staying patient and, and, and doing your job and not trying to do too much and protect the ball. We'll be fine. We're talking to Dion Lewis, and Dion, a few more questions right before we let you run. Michael Vick, he's had some criticism through the media. Describe Michael Vick as a teammate and a player. He's a great teammate. You know, he's always there. You know, he's one of the hardest guys you got in the locker so he's always a guy you can come to, talk to, and, and he, he, he carries himself like a professional. You know, he's a great teammate, and 
he's, he's fun to be around. You do have some people in the media, and I'm not one of them. I think Michael Vick is the quarterback of this team for this year, but they are saying maybe they should go to Nick Foles if the turnover problems continue. How does your unit, how does your team really ignore the noise and just focus on playing football? Uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody's really thinking about that, you know, because, you know, Vick's that guy. You know, Vick's that quarterback, he's that leader. On offense, so, you know, nobody really listens to all of the stuff that's being said. He's that guy, we believe in him, and we're going to stick with him. And your defense has been a real strong point for you guys this year, but you did lose your defensive coordinator, uh, Juan Castillo. He was fired uh, right before the bye week. What's the reaction to the loss following the departure of uh, Castillo? Uh, I don't know too much about the defense side of the ball. I just try to stay focused on what's going on on the offense side of the how we can help us win games. But, you know, uh, Coach Reed made a change, and, and, and if he made the changes, it's probably best for the team. So, you know, I'm sticking by whatever Coach Reed does uh, makes them better. Dion, thanks so much for the time. I appreciate it. Best of luck to your Pittsburgh team coming up this Saturday up against the Temple Owls. Thanks so much for joining us, and uh, let's get you on again real soon, my man. All right, thank you.